Remember, uh, uh, you heard of Rip Rogers, right? Yeah. So we were in OVW, and he was the coach. And every day he'd be like, guys, it's all fucking rib. I'm 18, I'm thinking, what the fuck is he talking about? It's all a rip. Because yeah. I was brought up with my dad, right? And, you know, you guys, this is what feeds us. You got to take this serious, right? Then one day I'm on Raw. Now, mind you, Ric Flair, when he throws a chop, what do the people do? Woo! Exactly. So the office said, no more chops. <laughs> Nobody's allowed to throw chops. <clears throat> it was to the point to where when you went to gorilla position, there'd be a big sign. No chops with like 15 exclamation points, right? Yeah. And I think they actually even started finding guys. like Because every time you threw a chop, they go, woo, they're, you're putting over a guy and Flair, I don't think it was on uh, hiatus at the time. <clears throat> it made sense. Until we get to San Antonio. Main event. Shawn Michaels versus Triple H. They had about 20 minutes. Do you know what they did for about 15 of those 20 minutes? <laughs> they threw chops. Yeah. <laughs> and what did the crowd do? Woo! Woo! And the next week, we had these, uh, I call them groove therapy sessions, these production meetings with the crew, right? And we had to sit there and watch the match. And I had to watch 15 minutes of chops when we we're being told for the last three months not to throw chops. And then Vince gets up, what a match. <laughs> That's when I heard Rip Rogers' voice. It's all a fucking rip. Collect your 